I actually had heard of, never met them face to face. We're gonna have a chance to get familiar with them now. Down at the end are twins, they're known as the Mustang Brothers. Uh, that's Cody and Preston. I can't tell you which one is which, and I don't think that that's important. But what is important is this. They run the largest Mustang restoration facility on the planet, just really down the street in East Dundee, Illinois. So I want to ask these guys, man, fill us in. How did both of you guys get started, and primarily specializing in vintage Mustangs, but dealing with Mustangs of all generations, but probably best known for classics, including a bunch of award winners. What was it about the Mustang that got you guys turned on? So, hello everybody, my name is Cody. Uh, I'm one of the Mustang brothers. This is my twin brother here. How we got started was um, my dad started a company about 40 years ago uh, with my grandfather's Mustang. He bought brand new. And um, my, my dad built a Mustang limousine, uh, the first one in the world. And uh, we were brought home from the hospital and that thing. So that's the first car we've ever been in when we, step, when we were brought into that thing. And then we didn't go home, we went to the shop. So our first place was Mustang Restorations. So that's home for us. Um, passion for us. We're there seven days a week. We love what we do. We don't need an alarm clock to do what we do. Um, we're here striving to make the business better than, than my dad has ran it. He's ran a successful business for the last 40 years. We're trying to take that football and, and, and run with it. Um, it's great working with family. My dad's, you know, uh, my inspiration. Uh, if I could be half the man that he is, uh, I think I'd be doing good. Um, we built that uh, 90 notch back that's on that uh, turntable over there. That's mine. Um, you know, classic cars, the one thing that about classic cars is it, it kept us out of the drugs and alcohol scene. So right. my dad just kept us, you know, with a wrench in our hands and, you know, this is what you see with, when you work hard. And uh, we've met a lot of great people. Um, I did Muscar Nationals in 2017 with my first car, which was a 1968 Dodge Dart. It's no Mustang, uh, but at the time it's all I could afford and I put my hard work into it and uh, it's gotten us here. Cool, man. Well said. Preston, I have to ask you, um, when it comes to vintage cars, is it all about Mustangs, or do you have an interest that spans beyond that? Putting you on the spot. Uh, for myself, it's all about Mustangs. Yeah, uh, all right. You know, we are the Mustang Brothers, so, uh, you know, I'm just trying to take this company to the moon. And uh, uh, I'm making Netflix deals. Uh, i got Haggerty Media flying out uh, next month, do some filming. And uh, personally, um, I love the Mustang, and I'm gonna keep that legacy alive, not only my dad's legacy, but all your guys' legacies out here. And hopefully one day have this event filled with the guys my age, um, share the same passion with so. Where do you, where do both you guys see, obviously one of the big questions in the collector car world in general, is where do we go in the future? That's probably the number one question. And I just have to say, I'm just so gratified with the knowledge and enth enthusiasm from all you guys you guys actually running a shop at this point. From your perspective, you guys are 28 years old, is that correct? From your perspective, where do you see, especially in the vintage Mustang world, where do you see that going? And let me qualify it a bit. Do you see more interest in stock, original restored specs, or resto mods, modified cars, maybe taking center stage? To answer your question to see where it's going, um, that's why I'm here. Um, that's why I'm trying to get out there on, on social media, TV shows, and everything like that to show the younger crowd that this, this generation is still around and these cars are still around. Um, as far as um, the modifications done to these cars, it's getting more towards we're getting these old fastbacks in and we're putting uh, coyote swaps in and we're doing all those kind of things as well. But there are still a vast majority of the guys that want contours done and um, we're just going to keep rolling punches and all the changes are happening. All right, final question for you guys. I want to get each of your answer. If you could own the ultimate Mustang and only have one, what would it be? I want to hear from both of you guys. <laughs> Not going to hold you to it. I'd like to hear your first reaction. If I were to own any Mustang, it'd probably be the 1973 D-Body Mustang from Gone 60 Seconds. <laughs> cool. All right. Cody? So mine is, uh, we actually have it. Um, I was informed about a 1968 Shelby GT500 KR Aquapoca blue car, big black, numbers matching car, sitting in a barn since 1976. And um, they reached out to my dad, and uh, I, my dad let me go out there and, and pick the car up. So uh, for me to see that car sitting in a barn on all flats, a dead coyote skeleton sitting next to it, and layered and layered of dust and dirt, um, 
we've got that car up on a rotisserie right now, and, and we're going through the motions on it, and I, that's that's the one I'd, I'd want to take with me. Exactly. Cool. All right, well, man, we're going to wrap this thing up, but I've got just a final question for the guys. Then we'll open it up for some questions. Um, my understanding is, is the cars, those of you that brought cars here, they're all parked together, is that correct? Which, who's familiar with where those cars are located at and which specific cars, so we can all, once we're done here, we can all go take a look at them. Who wants to jump in? So, um, at least from what Bob told me, uh, right where uh, my car's spinning around on, yeah. on, on the turntable, uh, behind me is, is a, another line of, of the younger generation, and there's a lot of nice cars, and I'm impressed by, by some of the work they're putting into it, because uh, we need that passion still alive, so um, it's just up the ramp over there. Uh, okay. I think everybody should go there and, and pick these guys' brands, because they built some amazing machines. Yeah, the 80 Monza, the 72 Duster, the 68 Corvette, the Mustang, Definitely well worth going over there, taking a look, meeting these guys, talking to them, you know, one-on-one -on -one is something that I'm sure they'd be glad to do. Man, I really appreciate all you guys having the poise, the guts to get up here in front of all these people, tell your stories. Anybody got any questions for anybody before we wind this down? Question here. Do I do any drag racing photography? That's mainly what I do, um, because that's mainly what I'm interested in. Uh, but yeah, the answer is yes, I do drag racing photography. I do drag racing photography at Great Lakes Dragway in Union Grove, Wisconsin, or US 41 Drag Strip in Morocco, Indiana. Cool, cool. Anybody else, any questions, comments? All right, question out here. Shout it out so we can hear you. Thank you, okay, well said. The junior drags, where do you race the junior drags for at? I mainly race locally, like Milan Dragway, LB Dragway, Lapeer Dragway out in Michigan. So you live in Michigan? Yes. Got it. Yeah? Okay. Better, better catch him in the junior drags for you can because it sounds like he's got sights on higher levels. So, all right, yes sir. Anybody here? Social media is from any of you guys. Any of you guys on social media? Yeah. If you do, go ahead and just go right down the row and we're tell uh, folks how they can connect with you. We're, uh, if you look us up on, on Instagram, uh, we're known as the Mustang Brothers, uh, or if you check us out on Facebook, we have a Mustang Brothers page as well, yeah. uh, or Mustang Brothers Racing. Instagram is cam underscore racing, YouTube is cam racing, all along. There, go on road trips, go to events throughout the year, and right now I'm building a 70 charger documenting the process from when I picked it up uh, in the field until hopefully back on the road. Cool, man. Anybody else? Yeah. Uh, I have Instagram and Facebook. My Facebook is Stoll, S T O L L, Racing Photography, and my Instagram is the, well, T H E, Anthony Stoll, S T O L L. Cool. Anybody else want to shout out? You can follow us on Crybaby Performance with a K, so it's K-R-Y-B-A-B-Y Performance on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. 